When you consider Hashem as a father, as a mother, he will be next to you. With the permission of Hashem, Barabait, we are here. In Buenos Aires, in front of, uh, of the sea, and when you see the sea, you see how what Hashem created you can only say, Marabo Maasech Hashem. You say, Hashem, who is like you? Who can do what you do? Only a man who believes in Hashem can say that. If somebody doesn't believe in God, he will not say nothing. I feel sometimes so bad for people who don't believe in God. They lose so much. They don't give a chance to themselves to realize, to admit who is Hashem. The question is, why people don't believe on Hashem? They will believe in money. Like uh, yesterday, I said to somebody that I never seen him sure. I said, I'm sure that you are a businessman. The businessman said, yes. I said, I, I know that uh, sometimes you have to travel to China, to Singapore, to everywhere in the world. You have to wake up, you have no time. Sometimes you have to wake up at 4 o'clock, sometimes at 3 o'clock, sometimes at 2 o'clock, sometimes you, do, you, you don't go to sleep. to make money? He said, yes. Said, what about the one who gives you the money? Would you do a sacrifice for him? He said, but the money, I see a result, a result through the business I do. I see a result when I do a sacrifice to wake up any time at night. But with God, what kind of result? So I told him, well, the result that you see in the business, this is the result that it came from Hashem. But the, the problem is, he doesn't believe in Hashem. Why? Because his mind is on money. It's like here, you have a good vision from here. You see the outside. From the top floor, you see the ocean, you see the water. But just imagine you, 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 you close with the curtain. You will see nothing. Open the window and open the curtain, you have a beautiful panorama. A beautiful view, but close with the curtain, we see nothing. <coughs> and even if I tell you there is a beautiful view of behind the curtain, you don't see. So for you, it's nothing. So this is the people say. I invest money, I see a result. I travel, the, I travel, I see a result. When I pray, I don't see no result. So don't give them an answer. But you, when you travel, you see the result. Not because you woke up. Maybe if God will not wake you up, if God will give you a heart attack, there is no result. Why you see only the, neg the negative of the result? Why you, you don't see the positive of the result? The positive of the result that I should give you wisdom to see what to buy. I should give you strength to wake up in the morning. There is uh, some positive result, but you don't see. Because you see, it must be a match. You have to be a man. 
David Melech said, I don't need to go to the university. I don't need to, to have a rabbi to study that it's Hashem who created the world. I don't need any proof to prove me. Enough for me to lift, to lift up my eyes to the sky, to see the sun, to see the, the stars, to see what, what there is in the world. There is only one who created this. It's Hashem. Last night, I did the Begat Adebana in my house. And I said to my wife, well, if you want to do the Begat Adebana, it's good. It's a Sigula to do Begat Adebana for a lot of things. Ah, I know. Yeah, it's very, very important. <coughs> Especially Begat Adebana, it's very, very important to do it. And uh, I promise you, my wife, she's a tzaddiket. She started to pray. I said, Vivian, you don't pray to the moon, pray to Hashem. I just told you, look at the moon and pray to Hashem, but don't pray to the moon. Imuna. Imuna. If somebody will see me in the street praying to do Bekat Alevana, there is a special bracha to do when there is the moon. We will ask, what do you do? I will tell him that there is a bracha. He will not understand. A bracha, you eat bread, understand, you do a, 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 a prayer, a blessing. But you wear a new clothes, there is a special bracha. Thank you, Hashem, that you give me the opportunity to, to wear a new clothes. You eat something new that you did not eat for, for a year, there is a special blessing that you pray, thank you, Hashem, that you give me. Thank you, Hashem. There is people who don't have clothes. There is people who don't have nothing to eat. And me, you give me, thank you, Hashem. So I, give, I do the bracha, I do the shakhiyano. But to do a bracha, when you see the moon, what's this? What's this? People don't understand. The moon, where the moon, uh, we see the moon most of the month, and suddenly the moon disappears, and it appears small, we do a bracha. Why do that? You don't understand. They cannot understand. But I can understand. I understand them that they don't understand me. Mm-hmm. But not to understand me, it's a problem. It's enough for me to see the moon. And we see, when I see, I see a big moon, and I see a small moon, then I don't see the moon at all. And here, the moon appears again. That reminds me something. What that remind me? That remind me the renewed creation. Only for one day, two days, or three days that you don't see the moon, you don't see the moon in the sky. There is no moon. Usually the moon should be with the stars. And but with the moon, maybe it's the other side. But anyway, it's the other side, but you don't see it. But even if you don't see it, Look, Hashem, how we, what he did. It doesn't mean that the moon is completely disappeared. It's hidden behind the sun or behind somewhere, but it's there. But you don't see it. It's like I take this bread, you see the bread? Yeah. And for a minute, I hide the bread. You know the bread is here. But, but you, don't, you don't see the bread. The moon, for all month, you see the moon, big, small, and then it disappears. It, it, it did not disappear from the sky, it just disappeared 
from your view. But what does remind you? Why Hashem did this? Why Hashem did not create two moons? One that you see all the time in this side of the world, or one that you see in the other side of the world, because like a, like a, in, 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 uh, like in China. Now in China it's, it's day, here it's night. Why Hashem did not do two kind of moon? One for them, one for us. As we did only one, only one moon. And sometimes this moon, sometimes you see, you see him, you sometimes you don't see him, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, you know. You know why Hashem did this? Hashem wants you to, to have an idea that one day there was no moon. And that should be created the moon. Like now there is no moon. And that she decided to create the moon. So it's like that gives you imuna on the creation of the world. That Hashim it's Hash that's what it is a special bracha about the moon. To remind you that one day there was no moon and Hashem created the moon so they give you a moon on Hashem so my question why she did not do that for the sun why the sun would not disappear for one day and then suddenly it will appear and that and uh, huh? And we, we will understand, we will learn. <coughs> Why only the moon? The answer is, we compare the Jews as the moon. Why? Sometimes you see the Jews with the Shoah, with all what the Jews suffer. Remember, you know what, how much we suffered? I would like to tell you a beautiful story. Last week, I needed an amount of money. You know, I always need money. I have a, too much expensives, I have too much. And the, the people, poor people, they come to me all the time, all the time, all the time. And I, I, I can't say no. And I don't know how to say no. So. I, Beside all my expensive, all my institutions, I have poor people, the rabbis who came, I want to get married. Always, oh, permit. And I want to do an operation. And yeah. sometimes, as she is a witness, sometimes I do give $20,000, forty dollars to private people. To private people. <coughs> because I know if I don't help them, You know how many times do you hear people, there was a, a, a man who had a, who died under the chupa of his son. He had a heart attack either because he had a lot of debt. He couldn't pay them. And they had a heart attack in the chupa and he died. How many times do you hear this? A lot of. So I don't take risk. Sometimes I don't take risk. When somebody's need, I don't, sometimes I, I will do, well, and the, last week I needed an amount of money. That was on Wednesday. And I had an appointment in the morning to go to the Moroccan embassy, my passport. Because I want to renew the passport. I promised to the king of Morocco to have an, uh, you know, to, mm -hmm to renew the past, my Moroccan passport. Because I go very often to Morocco for the Ilula. You never, you never been there. Never you have been. to go. It's not a shame. Oh. It's not a shame. Oh, you have it's to go. Shame, yeah. oh. So, oh. It's not a shame. Oh. It's not a shame. So, Baruch Hashem, last, uh, last, uh, last week, last Wednesday, I said to my wife, I went like this. 
Você é Rabbi David, what's going on? Say, ah, yeah, but why in the morning you go, ah? Say, well, I need an amount of money. So she said, always you need. Pray to Hashem as you as usual. Say, but I need it for the next uh, hour. And now I have an appointment with Albert Napo. He came, but he's supposed to come to pick me up in the yeshiva. I was in my house. So William Arsene, he called me, Rabbi David, Albert, Marcia, Albert Knapo is there. He's here, he's waiting for you. Do you want him to come to pick you up? Or you want uh, that you will come? I said, no, tell him to wait for me there. I will come, to, I will come, I will be there. Now I have, to, I, have to, I have something to do. Ten minutes later, I was sitting having my coffee. And I said to Hashem, Hashem, I need the money. This is the way of that. This is the way of to talk to Hashem. You must consider Hashem like your father. This is your wife. You have children. If they need something, they will not come to see me. No, they come to see you. This is normal. Because they don't know me, they only know you. So Hashem, you must know Him as you know your children. Would you, how many children you have? Two. Two. You will recognize them. Not only by names, by their voice, by their smelling, by their uh, names. Why you see? So Hashem, you must recognize Him. And how can you recognize Hashem? For mitzvot. How much you invest on Hashem, you will recognize Hashem. As much as you invest in Hashem, you will feel Hashem. You invest much for Him, you will feel Him better. You invest like, uh, you are just a, just a uh, traditionalist. So you will feel Hashem as a tra traditionalist. Maybe you will not feel Him at all. But if you feel Hashem as you should feel Him, so. So my wife, she said, so you pray? I said, yeah, I pray. And then, Marcin called me. Rabbi David, there is a man, Stefan, eh? he was passing by, he's here, uh, and he wants to say uh, uh, hello to you. I said, well, now I can't, I have to go to the Moroccan embassy, I can't. But tell him the afternoon. He said, Rabbi David, you know this man? If you tell this, this afternoon, he will not come the afternoon. Because he lives far, and uh, maybe he will not come. He said, so what can I do? I can't. I, I can. So I said, after, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Albert Knapo is in the issue, he's waiting for me. Tell him he doesn't need to come. Tell this man to come to pick me up. He did a quick the yeshiva, and so, and, and the road I will talk to him. So he said, okay. Then we did that, the man was downstairs. He took me to the yeshiva, and he told me, I said, why, why you came? What do you need? He said, I've been able to have everything, and he just came to say hello. I arrived, I see Marcian waiting for me outside. I see Albert Kanama for waiting for my side, and I see this man opening his suitcase, his handbag, and he took an envelope and he gave it to me. And I told him, I don't want to take it before you answer my question. Is there is here this amount? He said yes. The amount you need. The amount I need. So I told him, thank you. So he said, 
how did you know? He said, well, this is my tefillah to Hashem this morning. I did it this morning. He said, sorry. Must have emunah on Hashem. So now we, we did ask a question. Why only the mood disappear in the mouth, once a month? Why not the sun? Why not the sun? Why not the sun? Why, why the moon? The answer is, you know last week we lost a big tzaddik. We lost Rabbino Ovadia Yusuf Alavashallah. Something that we cannot believe. Tonight there was the Shiva of this tzaddik. They were there, 125,000 people in this Shiva. I mean, uh, you cannot imagine, you cannot believe this. That could happen. A funeral of a big tzaddik. One million hundred thousand people went with the for his funeral. I mean, if he, I mean, really, it was the tzaddik since uh, I don't know, maybe since a lot of generation we did not have a tzaddik like this one. Really, a man who studied Torah. Because today people think about a rabbi who does miracles. For me, the best miracle is a man who studied Torah. It's easy to do miracles. But to sit and study Torah, this is the miracle. What is the difference between Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and Rabbi Meir Bar who really did more miracles? Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai or Rabbi Meir Bar Anandes? It's Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai who did more miracles. So why we don't call him Rabbi Shimon Bar Anandes? Why we call him Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai? And Rabbi Meir Bar Anandes, he did not do a lot of miracles, but we call him Bar Anandes. So why we call him Bar Anandes? You know why? Because the Ness is to sit in the Torah. It's not easy to sit in Lord Torah. It's not easy. Can you imagine you sitting one, just one week for the Gemara? It's not possible. Maybe one hour a day, or, <laughs> but one, one month, two months. To sit in Torah, you must have a zikhut. It's a zikhut to sit in Lord Torah. I'm jealous when I go to the Yishiva, I have a Yishiva Bo Hashem. I have young boys, I have 120 young boys sitting uh, all day till 11 o'clock at night learning Torah. It's a miracle. With the young people today, they are out. They enjoy themselves. You cannot have, you don't allow them to have iPhone, not a iPad. They are not allowed to do nothing. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's a miracle. You know, the Meiri explained Masrit Psahim that why we compare the Tzadikim as the stars. Why? He said this Malachim we compare them as the stars because during the day when you see the sky, you don't see the stars. But in the night you see the stars. Why in the night you see the stars? Because during the day, the sun is so shining, so it, you don't see the stars. But when there is no sun, so you see, you see, the, yes. you see the, the light of the stars. So he said, the Tzadikim, when they live, they are so bright. Like the, star, like the sun, so you cannot look at them. But when they die, they die when it's dark, with darkness, it symbolizes of, of uh, death. But when the sun can die, then you see their light. So the king, the king, 
what, only when they die, you see how much they were strong. Look at Rabbi Yosef. When he was alive, we did not know his greatness. Hey! Only when he died. He helped you a lot of uh, yes. Rabbi Yosef. Both yes. of you. You owe him a lot, huh? Yes. Yes, my mama. Okay? You know, you are, if he did not help you, you will not be here today. You will not, you, you will not be married today. I know. I'm telling you. It helped you a lot. Huh? Oh, Hashem. I was a good shaliyah for you. And, uh, oh, Hashem. It helped, it helped you, oh, Hashem. So now you understand why the sun Why Hashem did not make that the sun would disappear? Why only the, only, the, only the moon? Because we compare the Jews as the moon. Because the Jews, all their life, it's darkness. Shoah, and Shoah, and Shoah, and Shoah. There's always problems. And the United Nations, not all, all of them, they love us. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is always is darkness. Sometimes it could happen <coughs> that we think this is the end of the Jews. Finito. And suddenly it appears again. We appear like a cross. We go, we go like the moon. And then there is a time that we have the Jewish people they become a big nation. And then problems, darkness come again. Do you understand me? Hashem he did exactly what's going on with this with the moon. Just uh, that's why only to the moon we pray. Because the moon always is we see the moon at night. Because the moon receives a, a light from the sun, as we, we receive our light from the Torah. The sun is the Torah. We receive our light from the Torah. As long as we speak Torah mitzvot, we are shining, there is light. But when, God forbid, we start to leave the Torah away, darkness. So what happened? We do Teshuvah and the moon starts again. We start, we do, we do teshuva, so again, we start it like a croissant to shine a little bit, till we be. And when we don't do things right, again, darkness. We receive our light from the sun. It's symbolic. That's why only we talk about the, the moon, not the sun. But accompanying, this is what you should learn from all what I told you. From what, all what I told you tonight is to understand Marabu Ma'asech Hashem. To open your eyes and to see clearly what Hashem created. You need really to focus on it. You have to focus on it. If you don't focus. So? You will be like, like, like what he said, uh, uh, the Ramchal, Rabbi Mushahim Lutzato. He said, there is two kinds of darkness. There is a man with his eyes, and he is a blind. And he is another kind of man that he has no eyes. And he, he, he is blind because he, can, he cannot see. He said, there is people who are blind, because they were born blind. They are blind. But there is another kind of people, they are not blind, but they don't want to see. They make themselves blind, they don't want to see. That's why David Amelie said, Ki er eishamecha, when I open my eyes and see. Because if, if I will not open my eyes, my eyes to see, I will not see. You have to see. Look, he is here. Blah and Ara, you have a beautiful table. And you see. But if you are not angry, if you, if, you, if you don't want to eat, 
you will see. No, because, uh, but a person should always be angry. Thirsty for a shame. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. There is no limit to study Torah to perform mitzvot. There is no limit. No, but Hashem, I wish you bracha and stacha, ruiut, amen, parasa tova, amen, harichut yamim bishanim, amen, benegah alukah be'avecha, kemalachah v'tzavelach, yishmucha b'chod arachecha, and here it's about Hashem, that the Kosh Baruch Hu will help us to learn Abraham Abinu, Arab Shalom, Abraham Abinu. You realize there is God, he has no teacher, Abraham Abinu. Nobody teach him nothing. He opened his eyes. At the beginning he thought the sun is God. At the night he thought, well, he's the stars is God. Then the next day he saw the sun. Ah, it's the sun, the God. Ah, the sun, he beats the stars. Then, at the night he see, no. No, 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 no. no. They are not God. They are, there must be somebody the creator. I mean, he opened his eyes. It's, I mean, uh, I mean, you have to open your eyes to see. I mean, don't tell me that all what you have the ta- from the table, it came from the sky. No, it's, it's somebody who prepared them. There is somebody who worked, <coughs> bought, paid for this. I mean, there's somebody who fixes the tables. I mean, you have to open your eyes. You have to understand. The word is not a... Uh, open your eyes. Hey, hey, look. You know, uh, there was a... Uh, when I, I was coming, when I came here to... Bemek, this is the... Arshat Ishmael is there. I promise you. But look, listen to this, huh? It's my fault. I, I was writing this morning for three hours and a half, four hours, I was uh, writing. Not stop, huh? No breakfast, no nothing, no, not stop. I don't need to stop to, to walk f- to a few minutes. And then I took my medicine. Now, I told him to give me the, my suitcase, I put everything in there. And the, the, how do you call it, the box where I take the medicine, I did not need it. So just take it and put it, put it in, the, in the handbag, that's it. But I don't know what happened to me. I left it outside, I said, I would take it after, and I forgot it. Tell me why. Why this? How do you, you understand this? I take always the medicine it's in my, in my handbag. I took the medicine, <coughs> so put it back. Why do you leave it outside? What, what the chokhmah? What is the idea to leave it outside? five minutes before, before the, the, the landing. So what? I mean, it's, it's silly. It doesn't make sense. Why do that? This is just to teach you. Even if you open your eyes, if Hashem wants you to see without seeing, it could happen. This is the teaching. I should be teach you, look, be careful what you see. Don't, don't do that you don't see, you see. And then he want to teach you, even if you see, I can make you not to see. With the zikhot of Rabbi Hempito, may I should give you a I'm